Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at a mod today called Riverwood Rest. It was recommended by Leo, one of my viewers. Thanks Leo. It's by Lime and it's a 2019 mod updated at the end of last year. You can buy the key from the Riverwood Trader. If you speak to Lucan it was 4k. So quite the bargain. It's a very modest little home. No room for followers or kids. It's just for the singleton. Oh Inigo you look so handsome. In that armour, it's amazing, isn't it? I wore that my last playthrough and he's inherited it this time. So there's a few benches outside. Some lights. And then this deck, which is kind of two-in-one, really. It's a work area and a dining area. There's no deco at all, which is kind of a shame. I would have loved this to have been ooh, set up for dinner or something. So a workbench, anvil, grindstone, tanning rack... Knapsack, a sin knapsack. Bits and bobs. And a chest. No um, soils anywhere, so kind of a shame. Oh yeah, no garden. All right, indoors. As you can see, it is very, <laughs> very small. Just this one room and a basement, which I'll show you in a sec. This room kind of has everything you know it's your dining room your cooking area sleeping working socializing all in one spot such a cute little wagon trying to stand and yeah steel dagger a couple of books Comfy bed. I have got the snazzy furniture overhaul installed. Look at that chandelier. I love it. That is adorable. Good job on that. That's such a standout feature to me. I love it. So unusual. So, business ledger. Torch bug cloche. Oh, thank you. Nice. I like that too. It did say it was a highly detailed uh, player home on the mod. It's kind of not the sort of home that I go for. You know, I like the really sumptuous ones like Laboratorium and Nordia and things like that. But this really does have some nice little bits to recommend it. Yeah, it's nice. Tiny little strong box. I have got one issue there, as you can see, with my mantelpiece kind of disappears from the side view let me give you some room tell you what inigo mm -hmm. of course what do you want to know okay come and get me when it is time to go <laughs> relax dude stop following me around this look at that potato plant that is the tiniest little plant pot i've ever seen it's adorable Actually, maybe Mentha's done some that small, but yeah, you don't see that very often, and that's so cute. So downstairs, again, more, um, another workbench. I don't know why there's two. There was one upstairs, wasn't there? I'm not misremembering already. Dwarven bow. And there are a few weapons, actually, if you, you know, I should think so, too, for 4K, though. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. Bits and bobs, a bar with a mead keg, bake the mead keg, oh yeah, oh my god, okay now, now it's stuck in my inventory. So, enchanting, alchemy, nice little bits of deco, storage, and yeah, quite a nice weapons display here, you can take them all. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. There we go. Okay. The display case is up there, but I don't see the point of them because you can't actually see inside them. It's kind of a shame. A home safe. Again, just a few bits and bobs, but this uh, named sword, Murasma. Nothing game breaking or cheaty. Take that, thank you. And a couple of bookshelves. I like the shield display. I always love to see that. 
They're so nice, aren't they, the shield um, from the holes? Odd note. Dedicated to Jenny for her kindness, love and support always. Oh, Adorable. That is so sweet. Okay, so that's it. That's the whole of the home. It's very small. And as I say, nothing uh, groundbreaking. I seem to have a little bit of an invisible wall here. I noticed it earlier when I came in. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to worry. Uh, so yeah, as I say, it kind of falls short from my personal play style. Um, only in so far as obviously I need room for these two now. Um, and no garden. Well, boo. But it's in a fabulous location. What a great spot. And it's got everything that you need. So game very handy. I'll leave you with that view of Riverwood and call that the end of this wee video. Thank you as always for watching. Don't hesitate to let me know of any recommendations you have. And I'll see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.